Welcome back to the channel, I'm Michael Bryan, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to capture video on your screen using OBS Studio. So this is basically just a tutorial of how to download and set up OBS Studio for your first use, so you can capture videos, which you may later wanna edit and upload to YouTube if you have a YouTube channel. So let's hop over to my laptop now. Now, as you see, just go to obsproject.com and it'll bring you to open broadcaster software. It's totally free to use and a lot of people use it for online streaming for games or YouTube live streams or just screen recording to upload to YouTube. So a video such as this would be a great video to be recording with OBS Studio. Of course, I'm using a different software because I actually, you know, you can't record with OBS Studio if I'm downloading OBS Studio right now. So click on Windows if you have Windows. I'll just be showing you how to do it with Windows in this video and we're just gonna skip ahead to when it's actually downloaded. So a quick little aside here, I'm also gonna show you how to resolve a very quick black screen issue when you open up OBS and you just see a black screen right away. Uh, and if you're using an HP Spectre like I'm using that has two different GPUs, you'll definitely wanna know how to do this so you can use OBS. Also, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please go down and click the subscribe button and the bell icon. My brother and I are making videos every single week on how to improve your YouTube channel. This is based on tips uh, from our own experience from growing our own YouTube channels to millions of views between the two different channels. So, getting back to the video now. So, getting back to the video, it totally downloaded and when we open it up, it's just going to install it. We'll just say yes. This part is very simple. You just click through and install it exactly where you want. Okay, so now OBS is installed and when it opens up, you'll just see a black screen and a lot of options here. It's gonna be very confusing unless you follow these very simple steps. Now first, you go down in sources right here and you're gonna click plus. Now you wanna select which source it's going to be showing on your screen. What are you capturing? Are you capturing a window? Are you capturing a browser? Or what, you know, so typically what I do is I just go to display capture right there and you have the option to name it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna call it display capture. You say okay, and this is going to be my main window. Now it's capturing everything I have on my screen. It looks weird, but if I move it over there, you're gonna see that this is my display. So we'll say okay, it's capturing in 4K, which is the, the quality of my screen. Uh, and so as you can see on this little tiny display right here, it's capturing everything that is shown in my screen. Now, let's go back to full screen here. And again, I'm, I apologize that it looks so weird when you're using this, but essentially you have your display capture there, you have a scene, you can change different scenes and add more if you wanna have transition smoothly through, maybe like a live stream for example. But for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna keep this as a single, simple recording that you might wanna be putting on YouTube. Now, once you have this, you can just start recording if you want, but let's go into settings and make sure that everything is set up properly, that you're capturing the right audio and that the quality is what it should be. So starting with language, make sure that it is your native language. If you're watching this video and understand what I'm saying, I assume English would be just fine. Now your theme, you can choose a dark mode. There's several other modes. I typically just stick with the dark mode, but they just look a little bit different with all of them. Wow, that one looks really weird. Uh, let's go to default. And it's gonna be, there we go, the proportions are better now actually. So you can change stuff within there. Dark mode looks the best, but the proportions for some reason are changing on my desktop here. Now, as we scroll down, you really don't have to change anything down here in my opinion. If you want to, definitely read through everything and decide for yourself for your own video uh, and for your own use what is gonna be easiest for you. If you go down to stream, you have a lot of different options. You can stream to many different websites. Twitch is a really popular one, of course. YouTube is gonna be the one that I would be streaming the most to. Uh, and then essentially all you have to do is enter your stream key right there and you'll be getting that on YouTube. I can make another video if you guys are interested in how to stream, live stream on YouTube uh, from your desktop. Let me know and I'll show you guys how to do that in another video. As we go down to output, this is what we actually do wanna change. So we start with simple mode. There is also advanced if you're having problems or you want something a little more than just the simple stuff here, uh, but simple should be fine for most people. So you wanna change your bit rate to 3500. That should be fine for most people. You wanna make sure that the software is X264. You want the audio bit rate, honestly, you can change it however you want. 160 should be sufficient for our needs. And then as we go down, this is where you're gonna change your recording path. So once it saves the video, or once you end the video, it'll save to this path. So I just usually make a folder within my YouTube folder and say OBS capture. And every single time I record, it'll go there. And then I can copy it out and put it wherever I need to. Just a great way to keep track of where your files are going so you're not stuck digging for some file named by the date or whatever, anything like that. 
You want to make sure that the recording quality is high quality uh, and you can change the file size. Again, this is very strange that uh, the ratios look so weird on a 4K screen. I really apologize for that. As we go down, you have recording format, you want MP4, and for the encoder, you want just hardware, whatever is coming on your computer. Now, that's essentially all you need to know. When you change the audio settings, uh, you can change like the sample rate, and I would recommend reading through all of this if you have other auxiliary microphones plugged in. Um, again, it's not a big deal because I generally just record the internal audio, and then I have a video separately recording me with my audio on la my lapel mic. Your video quality doesn't need to change. This is going to be your resolution. Again, this is a 4K screen, so we're recording in 4K, so we capture all of the pixels, it makes sense. You can define certain hotkeys to do certain things when you're streaming or recording, if you wanna quickly you know, start or stop streaming or recording or anything of that sort. Set up your hotkeys here, it's really convenient, you can do that. And then of course you have advanced settings, we're not gonna worry about that. So when you're done, you click apply, you click okay, and you are ready to start recording. Now if I just hit start recording, I can close this window, and I can start looking at anything else as you see right here, and it'll be recording my entire screen. Now I mentioned before that I would tell you how to fix a black screen issue that I had. So for example, if I just close OBS, and I go to where it's saved on my computer and I open it, it'll open up and it'll just show me a black screen despite having a source selected. Now the reason for this is because this laptop that I bought, the HP Spectre X360, has two different GPUs in it. It has an internal one and it has the NVIDIA GeForce. So what I actually have to do and what you may wanna see if you have to do this as well, is you right click from the file source and you say run with graphics processor and choose integrated graphics. You can also change your default if you want to do that, but if you have a different processor, I don't recommend changing the default. So just like that, it's fixed. Guys, that's what I have for you in this video. I hope that this helps you to make better YouTube videos, to make better screen recordings or live streams or whatever you're looking to do. Remember, comment below if you have any questions about this or if you have any suggestions for future videos. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.